Question 3. Cos of 36. So we have cos of 36. Again, we don't know what cos of 36 is, but we do know what cos of 18 is. So we need to write 36 in terms of 18. So we can say, well, that's the same as saying cos of 2 times 18. Okay, well, cos 2 times 18, we know that's a double angle. That's a double angle, and for cos, that means we can either have it as cos, sorry, cos squared 18 minus sine squared 18, or 2 cos squared 18, minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine squared 18 so the double angle formula for cos has three ways of expressing it now since we know what cos of 18 is of course it would be better to use this one we already know what cos of 18 is equal to we also know what sine of 18 is equal to we calculated it here but it's just going to be simply using that expression Okay, and so let's go and answer question 3. Okay, cos of 36. First, we need to write cos of 36 just in terms of cos, in other words, of cos 18. Okay, so that would be 1, uh, sorry, 2 times cos of 18 squared. So again, remember that we take the whole cos and 18 and square that minus 1 let's just preview syntax is okay cool and there we go 2 cos of 18 squared minus 1 2 cos 18 squared minus 1 so now that in terms of z would simply be 2 cos of 18 is z squared minus 1. 2 z squared minus 1. Preview. Great stuff. 2 z squared minus 1.